Try before we die. Welcome back to the Whiskey Review Show where we don't plan in advance. And we don't know what we're drinking, but we'll tell you what we're thinking. Hey, Mal. We're just a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> it's like amateur hour. <laughs> level six hour. We're not level one. <laughs> not level one. Not level one. Thoroughly enjoyable show, though. How does this go? Hit Randy. Randy. Gives us a number. You walk around your bar. Yep. Next thing you know, we drink it. Hundreds of bottles. Give us an honest opinion. May not be yep. right. May not be me close. It's what we experience. It's what we experience. Why don't you push it? Tonight, we're going to find bottle number 134 right behind Malcolm. We're going to open that bottle and tell you what we think. But first, we're going to figure out what it is. We'll see everybody behind Malcolm, bottle 134. Right behind Mal, as promised. Bottle 134. 98, oof. 108, 118, 128, 29, 30. Oh, a first time distillery for me. Toravag. Spelled Torabahai. Toravag. This is um, from the Isle of Sky. So this would be an islands region. If I have this correctly, and Boy, am I wrong a lot. I believe Isle of Skye is home to Talisker. Um, what we have here is the 2017 Legacy Series coming in at 46% ABV. Um, I don't know much about this, although I can see right here, smoke and brine and aged in oak casks. The Toravag. No age statement. 2017 Legacy Series coming in at 46%. We'll learn more at the bar. Pronounce that. Tour of a Hague. <laughs> Tour of a Hague. Sure. The BH is a V. The Tour of a Hague, the 2017 the Legacy Series, uh, aged in oak casks. Let's get it open. Have you ever had a Toravag? No, I haven't even heard Neither it. Neither have I. We have a couple expressions here, but I am also unfamiliar with them. Oh, it's like a coin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See it spitting at you? Is that what that was? Yeah. Let's get them capped. What do we know? The Isle of Sky. Am I right? Oh. Talisker, Isle of Sky? Yes. The Legacy Series. Smoke and Brine. A robustly peated uh, spirit with a deceptively refined character. Uh, resulting in a complex and um, character uh, maritime whiskey. Drawn from a select batch of 100 barrels and casked in early 2017. So they took 100 barrels of what they considered to be worthy or at least similar flavor profiles, took those 100 barrels from their warehouse and released this series of bottles. Um, we don't have a unique numbering. We do not have an age statement. We know a bottled in 2017. We do not have a year of distillation, but we certainly do have a 46% ABV. Um, there's a lot of discussion on the back about the, uh, the PPM, the parts per million of the phenol levels, which are um, a part of the, uh, the PD smoking qualities. Um, coming in at 55 to 60, residual levels of phenols of 16, heavily peated. Mm, lots of stuff here about um, the peat and the smoke. Toravag. So to the uninitiated. Which we are with this particular 
Isla Sky. Distillery, yes. Is it part of the Isla region or is it is its own separate? Oh, so Mal brings up a, a point that um, some of us will know the answer to, some of us may be curious about. Um, the island of Isla is its own region. Okay. The island region, which composes all the other islands. Orkney. Orkney, Sky, Iran, and there are a couple oh, other small so ones. Jura, the Isle of Jura, those compose the islands region. The other five, or the other four, Isla, the islands, Campbellton, Lowland, Highland, and Speyside are the six regions. <laughs> yes. Similar flavor profiles? Being an island? I'm quite curious if the Torveg will be similar to a Talisker, which is home on Isle of Sky as well. All right. The Arans, which are behind you as well, are, are much different and they have many other caskings, but this, uh, this, this peated whiskey um, and this maritime flavor uh, may be reminiscent of a Talisker. We're going to find out. Okay. Uh, I did see no color added, not chill filtered. 46% ABV, the Toraveg. I think this is a newer distillery. Let's just see if this is in the book. Mm, R.S. Talisker. This is where we're going to find out. Moderately peated, 25. Um, mm, I don't see Isle of Sky, but I don't see anything else either, so... I'm still going to stick to my story. Anyway, I'm, I'm stuck in Talisker. I shouldn't be there. Let's see. T.O. It is not in the book. That new. That new. We've got Tormor and then... Trader Joe's. Oh. We'll get you a TBWD fact on the uh, the exact timeline of the Tour of Egg Distillery. In the meantime, Malcolm, what have we got for a color? I mean, certainly in the big bottle. Pale straw. We certainly do have this very straw, very pale, very light. I mean, light gold. If, if this was even in the gold range, if this was a maple syrup, this is grade A extra fancy. This is very light. I'm going to stick with the maple syrup grading. I do have a sugar house. Grade A, extra fancy in the old grading uh, scheme. Very light, which would, yeah. which would denote uh, amazingly... Um, mm, very light flavors, and I think we're going to have the opposite experience right here. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that is not grade A maple syrup. Not as uh, uh, as aggressive as you. Look were. at your face. Not as aggressive <laughs> as you were, but as you sniffed that in. The more potent it became, and uh, it, it built. I, I may have been like uh, slightly on the tired side, like about like thirty seconds ago. But wow, that woke me up. It's like a smelling salt. Yeah, that that. It's deceptive considering the color of this whiskey. Like you can smell the salt. The brine, right? The brine. Wow. Yeah, that wakes you up. That is, uh, I'll talk for a minute. What do you got going on? Not as heavily peat as I thought it was going to be. Right. It's more briny, more seaside. More, more seaside. Nothing in this book. And something sweet in there. Something sweet? Yeah. What are you finding? Maybe a candied fruit? What, what fruit would you think? Mm. 
I've confirmed it. Isle of Sky Talisker. Yay. <laughs> Three books later. The second book, though, is a new book, and Tor of Egg is not in that book either. Cherry, maybe? Oh, that's interesting. Like a ripe cherry, like a fresh tree cherry, not a sweet maraschino. But there's something sweet in there. Yeah, there is something sweet in there. That's the deceptive. I wasn't quite uh, what I, I was I'm, expecting. I'm confident, I'm confident I read something on here. Entirely bourbon barrels. But let's see if I can find the words. Feel, I feel like it's there. Um, I'm going to keep looking for... Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, aged solely in first fill bourbon barrels. There's your sweetness. Okay. Yeah, that sweet is there, but that... That briny seaside... The peat is there. Once it mellowed out, it's actually yep. real pleasant. Yep. All right. Light gold, grade A, uh, extra fancy maple syrup. Um, we've got brine, we've got some bourbon sweetness, and um, we've got a little bit of peat. The Tour of Egg, 46% ABV. Wasn't that an album by Madonna? I thought it was a BW. <laughs> <laughs> Tribe in Africa. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. Wow. It is all there. There is yeah. no easy entry. Letting it rest in the front of the mouth, it just grew and expanded. It was hard to get back. <laughs> That's an aggressive drink. That that drink is is a, is a gremlin in a paper bag. Yeah, that's aggressive. <laughs> But but surprisingly, not again. Two, Nothing. Two three seasons ago, this would have really worried me. Right. But it's not as as Nothing negative in what no, we just said. Just no. Just like. But it's it's it, it's there and it's some. It's all there. That whiskey is 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 happening from the minute it goes in your mouth, and it is demanding room to expand I like the bourbon at the back yeah I think that's what makes that more palatable do you agree that it demands oh yeah I this is something that I would not be uh, drinking more than a couple and I, a couple I would Oof. say say I would be like that's the way I'm gonna end my night if you told me that was 52% ABV I would believe you yes 46 compared to some other Will we have the similar numbers? Yeah. This one truly is like, oh yeah, yeah. There's some alcohol in there. Yeah. What was that? Was it? Was it Gremlins? Don't get it wet or, or after Feed midnight. after midnight. midnight? Yeah, yeah. And this this else. whiskey is all there. It's 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 like. I mean, can can you see these legs just mm -hmm. hanging on here? Yeah. Oh, your entire glass is like dripping. And there's no way around it. Whiskey. You can't like hold it. No, you can't. And, it and can't be like, rest. you know what? I'm gonna let it warm up a little no. bit. Oh no, <laughs> and no. I'm gonna take I was it like, down. Oh, I took a big swallow. I was like, oh boy. I actually thought you finished your glass that time around, but I was like, okay, he took a big sip. I'm like, I'll take a big sip. Yeah. And you can't. Okay, so tasting notes, right? Because this is so voracious. I really can't pour. I, you can tell there's some. There's it's bourbon based. Yeah, yeah. But I'm having a very hard time pulling out any sort of true notes because this is so voracious that it just overwhelms you so quickly. And I have a slight numbing, but I certainly maybe a little sea salt. But I'm having a hard time really picking out the peat, the smoke, because it's so vibrant. So voracious that it's like... You, you grew up in England. Yeah. Do you ever have chloroseptic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like for your sore throat? Yeah. Like, yeah. 
and it just dominate your entire mouth experience. Yeah. This is dominating the entire mouth experience. Even if you take it down fast. <laughs> Even if you take a small <laughs> sip. It's like, yo, I'm right here. It's like just explodes again. And you you wake up, you, you you're like, it's like an adrenaline rush. All of a sudden you're like right back to where you were, like just like a few seconds before yeah. what, what you were just drinking. You get a chance to relax, you take another sip, whether it's yeah. a big sip, a small sip, you hold it in your mouth, you let it go all the way back, yeah. and you're right back to where you were. I mean, I don't know if anybody noticed, but when we, we uh, opened this bottle before I took my uh, my first sip, I was clean shaven. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll grow a beard on you. This is this is interesting. I, I, you know, as much as I'd like to, to just be able to pick one drink that we have and just say, oh, that was awful. <laughs> I did not enjoy that. This is one of those ones where you, I, I would never think about going to this, this, this distillery, never think about buying a bottle of this. But now, because we get a chance to try all yeah. these bottles, to try something like this is, is just an eye-opener because it's amazing that they combine all these parts of these different regions. So this is from Isla, Isla Sky, right? Yeah. So you take the sea. You They say it's peated, you know? It is. For, I, and you, no and doubt, you, get, no you get that. But what amazes me that they put this all into a bottle and then they have it, the audacity to freaking say, okay, this is what you're going to be drinking. And the next thing you know, this is exactly what you're drinking. You know what? <laughs> exactly these, what you're drinking. These hundred barrels, this is the flavor we want to give people. We want a gremlin in a paper bag fighting to get out of your mouth. And it's only gotten <laughs> two ways out. The way it went in or out the backside. <laughs> And you're having the full experience. Yeah, I, I just, it, it blows my mind. So we talked at the beginning about, is there any connection to this and Talisker, right? I find Talisker to be a, um, a peated, a peppery whiskey. Yes. I'm not here with a Talisker. This is a second cousin twice removed of a Talisker. I would say if you pulled the pepperiness out of the Talisker, yep. Yep. this is what you would get. Yeah. And, and let's just say, I'm going, to, I'm going to rephrase that. If you pull the pepperiness out of the Tasker and you just tweaked it just a little bit more to give it a little bit more freaking voraciousness, I would say, I think Talisker has that, it has a little bit more of a sublime, this is where we are. Talisker is a 27-year-old Mike Tyson. This is an 18-year-old Mike Tyson. Okay, I agree with you. Yeah. Yes. Just swinging hard. Just, just punching anything that moves. Yeah. <laughs> I'll fight you all. And I, like I said, I mean, it, it, this completely just, just invigorated I am me. Invigorated at, me. at the explosion of energy this drink has, this drink could power a city block with electricity. Yes, very much so. Yeah. And, and like I said, I, I, I'm trying to be like, you know, oh yeah, I didn't really, but every time it's like, wow. That's actually rather pleasant in a, in a, in a, in a extraordinary way in the sense like this is not something I would really enjoy. It's not from my region. And then all of a sudden you pull this and no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing this. We've got some you. smoked, uh, I can't do it. oysters and mussels. We've got some candied ginger. Uh, anything, anything on this I tray? I don't think so. I'm going to have an oyster. It works. It works. But I bet young Mike Tyson ate a bunch of oysters. Because <laughs> that guy was out of control. This whiskey is like barely contained. Yeah, no, very much so. Yeah. It is just punching all over the place. Yeah. The Torveg, no age statement. The 2017 Legacy Series, 100 barrels put together, Burstville American bourbon, 46% ABV, a gremlin in a paper bag, an 18-year-old <laughs> Mike Tyson, out of control. This whiskey got two ways out of your mouth. The way it went in 
or down the backside. Either way, it fights you the whole way. It's not bad. No, not at all. And this is from a space side drinker. Not at all. Yep. All right, let's see what the crew has for us. <laughs> Actually, sort of goes against everything that we do. Yep. But this is yours. All right. Cheers to poor decisions. <laughs> Cheers. We're going to have another one of these. You, like, cannot hold that in your mouth. It's like, no. okay, you put it in, now do something with it. Spit it out or swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> I, it like I said, I, I go to this voraciousness. It just is so overwhelming. There's just no way you can, it's, like, pinpoint it's like, anything. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I just had more of that. In a good way, though. And I'm glad I have a whole bottle. Yeah, in a good way. Right. Like, it's, it, this, is, this is one of those ones where it's addicting how voracious and how overpowering it can be in certain spots. And there is no hiding it. You can't just take a little sip and think that you're going to get away with it. You take a big gulp and think it's all over the place. And then all of a sudden, you take just a normal, exact same freaking problem. Yeah. Lovely problem. If you wanted to turn somebody off to Scotch whiskey who never had it, <laughs> 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 